Hey everyone, some big news from the library. It is almost time for our annual author visit and this year we will be hosting young adult author Jeff Zintner. Jeff Zintner has published four young adult novels, The Serpent King, Goodbye Days, Rain and Delilah's Midnight Matinee, and In the Wild Light, which is his most recent publication and is currently nominated for the Gateway Readers Award. Not only is Jeff Zintner a great author, he's also a musician. He lives in Nashville, Tennessee, plays guitar, and has released five albums to date. If you are interested in meeting Jeff Zintner in person, hearing his presentation, purchasing copies of his books, and hopefully getting copies of those books signed, then sign up today with an English teacher or with a library staff member to reserve your spot to attend one of these presentations today. October 23rd is a Monday and a Purple Day, and we will be taking a bus of students over to the Performing Arts Center during second block that day. Any students who sign up and are approved to attend this event will meet in the Commons at the beginning of second block on the 23rd. We will take a bus over to the PAC to watch the presentation and meet the author. We will return sometime during wind time. Jeff Zintner's most current work, in the Wild Light, which is currently nominated for the Gateway Reader Award program, um, is a story about a boy named Cash. Um, and for, for Cash, life is not easy. He lives in a small Appalachian town. Um, he lost his mother to an opioid addiction, and his papa is slowly dying from emphysema. Um, his really only stability in his life is his best friend Delaney, and looking out for her while dodging drug dealers is pretty much second nature to him at this point. Um, he's been spending his summers mowing lawns while she works at Dairy Queen. Well, one day everything changes for them when Delaney makes a huge discovery in a cave that will, like, revolutionize modern medicine. And she secures a scholarship to an elite prep school, but she decides that she's only going to go if Cash can go too. But Cash now has to grapple with his need to protect and love Delaney and also with his love for his grandparents who saved him and the town that he would have to leave behind. Jeff Zintner's novel The Serpent King was also previously nominated for the Gateway Readers Award. And this is a story about a boy named Dill and he's had to deal with poisonous things his entire life. His father is a Pentecostal minister who is well known for handling poisonous snakes at his religious ceremonies. And he also deals with a lot of venom when he goes to school, where he's facing down bullies who are targeting him because of his father's extreme faith and his very public fall from grace. Dill's only saving grace are his friends, Travis and Lydia, who are kind of like fellow outcasts, just like him. Um, but as they're starting their senior year together, Dill really feels like everything is coming to an end. Lydia, who has a really edgy fashion blog, has a ticket out of this little rural Tennessee town. And Travis has his own plans for his future. Dill's only escapes are his music and his secret feelings for Lydia, and neither of these things are things that he's brave enough to share. So graduation feels like more of an ending to Dill than a beginning. But even before then, he's going to have to cope with another ending, one that will rock his life to his core. Jeff Zentner's next book is Rain and Delilah's Midnight Matinee. Every Friday night, best friends Delilah and Josie become Rain Ravenscroft and Delilah Darkwood, and they are the hosts of a campy creature feature show called The Midnight Matinee, which premieres on a local cable channel. But as senior year is quickly approaching its end, the girls are facing tough decisions about their future. Josie has been dreading graduation, and she tries to decide whether she's going to leave for a big university and chase her dream of a career in mainstream TV. And her decision is made even harder by her romantic interest in Lawson, who's one of the show's guest performers, an MMA fighter with a weakness for pancakes, fantasy novels, and this is making Josie's decision even harder. For Delilah, scary movies are her last connection that she has to her dad, who abandoned the family years ago. And if Midnight Matinee becomes a hit, maybe he'll see it and want to be part of her family again. And maybe Josie will stay with the show instead of leaving her behind too. So this story is really a tug of war between growing up and growing apart, and it really tests the bonds of or friendship between Josie and Delilah as they start towards their uncertain future, which can be both monstrous and momentous. Jeff Zentner's fourth novel is Goodbye Days, and this is a story about how one single text message can change the fate of an entire town. 
One day, Carver Briggs had it all. He had three best friends, a supportive family, and a reputation as a talented writer at his high school. The next day, he lost it all when he sent a simple text to his friend Mars, right before Mars, Eli, and Blake were killed in a car crash. Now Carver can't stop blaming himself. He blames himself for the accident, and he's not the only one. Eli's twin sister is trying to freeze him out of school with her death ray stare. And Mars's father, who's a powerful judge, is pressuring the district attorney to open a criminal investigation into Carver's actions. Luckily, Carver has some unexpected allies. Eli's girlfriend, the only person to stand by him at school, Dr. Mendez, his new therapist, and Blake's grandmother, who asks Carver to spend a goodbye day with her to share their memories and say a proper goodbye to his friend. Soon the other families are asking for a goodbye day with Carver, but he's unsure of their motives. Will they be able to make peace with their losses? Or will these goodbye days bring Carver one step closer to a complete breakdown, or even worse, prison? So remember that all four of these books are currently available in the library for checkout. If you read or check out one of these books before the author visit, your name will go into a drawing for a chance to win a free copy of one of Jeff Zintner's books. This will be awarded the day before the presentation. Um, that way you can take it and get it signed personally by the author. So if you're interested, please once again see an English teacher or a librarian to get your name added to the list of students who would like to take part in this field trip to the Performing Arts Center to meet Jeff Zentner in person. Happy reading everyone!